Hi, I'm Greg Bullock from Algebra in Words, and this is another episode of my collection series. In this episode, we're going to be looking at some of my old sports figures, mainly baseball and baseball memorabilia. And I have to tell you, I have some really cool things and a little few hidden gems that you're going to like. So first of all, let me make some room here. And what I want to start with is, is my figurines. Now when I was a kid, I was big into baseball, mainly in the 90s. I was a Pittsburgh Pirates fan, mainly. But that sort of changed after they kept losing uh, the playoffs to get to the World Series. But that's a separate story. But I was big into all the players, really. And I love baseball. I had tons of the baseball cards. I'm going to make a couple videos of just those. I have boxes and binders of those. But in this episode, I'm going to highlight some of my figurines. So when I was a kid, I used to collect some of these. I had a modest collection, and I used to set these out on my dresser and uh, of all my favorite all-stars. So in this video, we're going to look at, look at all those one by one won't take that long and then after those we're gonna look at my Dairy Queen ice cream cups I have a few of those and then we'll also look at some of my stadium cups we'll look at them in a minute plus a few other things so first let's start off with my favorite player back in the day and even though it was before the whole steroids thing and this is Barry Bonds and this is a shot of him sliding in the home base. And this is from when he moved to the Giants. Originally, he was a Pirates fan, a uh, Pirates player, and he was my favorite player. But when he changed teams and I started to collect these, I got the San Francisco Barry Bonds figure. Um, another figure of another one of my favorites is Bobby Bonilla, also one of the killer bees from the original Pirates. But when he left and went to the Mets, uh, he was still one of my favorites. And this is the character figure of him. Interesting trivia, he actually has, if you ever see on social media, he has his own day. Sometimes you see that trending on Twitter. And one more character on the theme of the Pirates was this outfielder, Andy Van Slyke. Another one of my favorite players because he was a Pirate. And I believe he stayed with the Pirates for his whole tenure. So this is Andy Van Slyke, an action shot of him diving to catch a ball. Next we have Fred McGriff. And this is when he was with the Padres. He was with a few teams. I remember he was also with the Braves. He played first base. Another one is... Carlos Baerga, if you remember him. He was an all-star, played for the Indians, and the Indians had a pretty stacked team back then. A lot of great players with the Indians back then. Um, let's look at this great. You recognize him? A picture shot of the great Roger Clemens. And this was when he was with the Red Sox. He was with the Red Sox for, I think, most of his career. I think all of his career until the end, and then he went to the Yankees. But he was mostly with the Red Sox, and this was a figure of him when he was with the Red Sox. One of the greatest pitchers. And then how about this guy, Mark McGuire. From when he was with the A's, I think he was with the A's his entire career. He might have changed at the end. And again, uh, this was before the whole the whole steroids thing, at least before I knew about it. But uh, he was a great player regardless. And he was probably juicing back then already, but I didn't know. Then this is one, Greg Vaughn. He played for the Brewers, I think. Yeah, the Milwaukee Brewers. And you, if you look real close, you can actually see the old emblem of the Brewers on his hat. And I think they changed it now. But it was the old M and B that made up the glove symbol that was the team emblem. Alright, and how about 
This guy, this is Gary Sheffield from when he was with the Padres. And again, I know he moved teams a few times. I know he went to the Dodgers a little later on. Didn't do that great there. Then he went on to another team. I probably wasn't watching it as much back then, but Gary Sheffield, an all-star. And then how about this legend, Ryan Sandberg, played second base for the Cubs. And he was an all-star. Probably went to the all-star game almost every year. And I believe also a Golden Glo Glove recipient. Then we have this Yankee, Roberto Kelly. I don't remember much about him. This is a running shot, so he must have been a big base stealer. But this is Roberto Kelly. And then, this guy, his last name is McCray, and I'm not going to lie, I don't remember his first name. If anybody remembers, maybe you could tell me in the comment section below. I'm not going to Google it while I'm filming, but I think it might be Fred, McGra Fred McCray. I just don't remember. But he was an all-star, played for the Kansas City Royals. So here's the figure of him batting. And then... I saved this one for the end. Joe Carter, another legend, played for the Toronto Blue Jays. And this was probably, I probably bought this somewhere around about the time that he hit the game-winning home run in the World Series, I believe in 93, against the Phillies. I was rooting for the Phillies, but I like the Blue Jays too. That year, they had a good team. And the, and the, the last of my baseball figures... Another legend, Ken Griffey Jr. Gotta have the Ken Griffey Jr. I don't remember which year this was from, but this one had a the dark shirt. Usually the Mariners. This was from when he was with the Mariners. Usually the Mariners had the white uh, jersey, but this was the dark jersey. And Ken Griffey Jr. was so good that I had two of him. And this one is the action shot where he's outfielding and reaching for a fly ball. That's a great shot. You probably noticed that some of these are probably a little discolored. They're turning a little yellow now. So that's just time taking its toll on it. But uh, they're still in pretty good condition. And then before I get to a few other things, just to throw in with the same collection, is I also collected two soccer players because I... I did play baseball as a kid, but I played more soccer and was better at soccer. So I must have gotten into collecting some figures of these. And one of them is Baggio, I think. I don't even know their first names. The other one is Serena. If anybody knows who these are, I don't know if they're significant players or not, I guess. But anyway, I played soccer, so these figurines were about the same size as the baseball ones. So I kept them all together. And then, a bobblehead of Pedro Martinez. And a little bit later than the era of some of the figures I just showed, I think I got this either in a cereal box or might have been a promotion at one of the games that I went to, a live game. And these are really cool. I know there's going to be some people that enjoy this little throwback, but these are the little miniature Philly Fanatic figures. And I believe there were a total of six of them, and unfortunately I only have four. But these, I believe, were exclusive. You could only buy them at Acme grocery stores. So I was able to pick up and collect a total of four of these. So this is the Philly Fanatic in the batting stance. And then... This is the Philly Fanatic. It looks like he's in a sliding stance, but also, if you can see, it really stands up. So he's doing like a handstand. That's cool. And I think, does he stand? So he also stands up on his feet. So it looks like he's just going like this, cheering. So there's that one. 
And then there's the one where he's in the tux. Unfortunately, it looks like his cane I broke. I love the Philly Fanatic. Used to go to see the Phillies once or twice a year. And then here's another one where he's kind of in praying position and he's probably pleading with the, pretending to plead with the referee for a call or just goofing around. Philly Fanatic. Okay, and then a couple other little weird trinkets. I don't know where I got these. These are from 1984. But these are pins. And this one is Carlton Fisk when he played with the White Sox. You see that? And even inside, there were little statistics. I have three of these right now. I had them all scattered and I was able to bring them all together. Harold Baines, also from the White Sox. This before they changed to the black and white uniforms. These were like blue and red. And the last one of these I have is Paul Molitor from when he was with the Brewers. The old Brewers symbol and the stats. He was a third baseman. Just a little information in there. Then check this out. This is Jaquin Andahar. I don't really remember him. He must have been a star back during this time. But this was one of those coins that when you turn it, it changes pictures. He played with the Cardinals. And this one was from 1985, Slurpee Cup. So when you go to 7-Eleven and get one of the collector Slurpees, you get the collector coin, and I still have it. All right, and then uh, this little weird gem is a little miniature Ken Griffey Jr. booklet from Scholastic. I probably got this when we had book fairs at school, which I probably back then hated, but if they had sports things and things like this for people like me, this is probably what I bought with the money I was given. And it looks like just little biographical information and a couple pictures like that. So still have it in my collection, little Ken Griffey Jr. booklet. I don't know how many of these that were made or <clears throat> of what other characters or people but then uh, alright so let's take a little break from those and just check out this little weird thing you'll never find what I'm about to show you anywhere else but back when I was in I believe sixth grade we had to do uh, car races in wood shop so you could create your own cars and then they would put the cartridge in the back and you would race them so this was my prototype this is hardwood and I went with a Phillies team that year that probably would have been in the mid 90s and uh, I don't know why I did this but I went with blue with the red Phillies P and then white on the sides and that's the design I went with to try to make it aerodynamic but then when it came to making the actual one with balsa wood then I changed the design a little bit shaved a little off the middle for weight Changed the color scheme a little bit, went with white with a blue P. I don't know why that. But then on the sides, the red with the white P, which is more what the real uniforms were like. And this was the newer Philly symbol, not the older one, with the maroon with the other P from the 80s. And uh, the cartridge went in there. And this little bad boy got me second place. And I'm still convinced I would have gotten first, but if you notice, the wheels don't spin well. And I'm convinced that that's why... I only came in second, so that's alright, someday I'll come back from that. Alright, and then another little throwback which I introduced in the beginning, which is the Dairy Queen hats. So I don't know if they still do this, I just don't know, but back in the day you'd go to Dairy Queen, you'd get an ice cream, and the cup would be a baseball hat. So you'd get it, your ice cream right in there, eat it, and then you get to keep the collector's cup. 
So luckily, I got some of these when I was a kid. I like to collect them, and I still have them. They're in good condition, mostly. So the first one is just the regular, newer Phillies hat. And again, it's the newer Phillies hat, not the older one from the 80s with the maroon and the different shape P. But I do have some cool vintage ones here. So the next one is the Blue Jays. And I don't watch baseball that much anymore. I don't know if they still have this symbol, but one of the rare logos that's just the bird. It's not a letter and it's not a word. It's just the bird, the Blue Jays. Toronto Blue Jays. All right, and then this one is really cool because I'm pretty sure they changed this now. But remember this? This is the Baltimore Orioles, and it had the little cartoon character of the Baltimore Oriole. Really cool. And next, anybody know what this is? This one was from the Minnesota Twins. I believe they changed that emblem again now. They've gone through a few renditions, but this was from the Minnesota Twins. And if you like this one, you're going to like the next one. If you remember this, and this is, anybody remember what this is? You don't see this one anymore, I don't think. Also the Minnesota Twins. And if you're wondering, I used to wonder, what does the TC stand for? It stands for Twin Cities, because that's where they're from. That's where they played. So you don't, I think that's a throwback. You don't see that one much anymore. They might have changed it. All right, and then how about this little throwback? Remember that one? That was the California Angels. And I know they've gone through a number of renditions. They even changed their team name a little bit on and off over the years since then but if you notice this had the A with the little halo above it I think they still have that but I know that they became the Anaheim Ames and I don't know what they are now but that's the old one and then this one's pretty classic the Cincinnati Reds I think that's the same still let me know in the comments below if it's different and this one was an important one to me because I was a Pirates fan, and this one is the Pittsburgh Pirates. Also, kind of a throwback. This was probably one of the first ones that I had because the older team had the yellow with the black P, but the newer ones were mainly the black hat with the yellow golden P. So this one's really cool. I like that one. And then how about this one? Well, if you look, obviously there's no symbol on it anymore. But I remember this used to be the Mets, but unfortunately the symbol scratched off. Alright, so a few more. And let me bring these up here. And how about these? These are the old big collector cups. And same on both sides, but this was from the Philly Stadium when you used to go to the vet. <clears throat> and just the collector's cups. And also, this one has the Phillies on both sides. But this one has the Phillies, and then on the other side, the logo for the National and American League with the Eagles. And then, this is a real interesting one. This is from 1989, when I went to see the Yankees, my dad brought me. And this was a promotional cup that day. And it's also got the important promotional dates on it, the Yankees symbol. But also, if you keep turning it, you see an intricate picture of the stadium with some of it as a picture and some of it has captions all around. It's really small. Let's see if you can see any of it. Old um, Yankees statistics and um, facts. Um, the house that Ruth built when Babe Ruth played. So that's really cool. You don't see that much detail on cups, it seems, anymore. All right, and then how about these? These were probably from, oh, it says from 96. And this is from the year that the Vet and Philadelphia hosted the All-Star Game. And that was really cool. I love the All-Star Games. And here's another cup. It's a smaller one, but the same year. And 
something different on the back. It's just a picture of the field. Oh, and it's actually got the date of the game, July 8th, 1996. So, as I was saying, they hosted the game that year, and I have a couple interesting, well, one interesting thing about that. And I actually bought a baseball of that All-Star logo. And that was really memorable because I went to the All-Star game um, home run derby that year at the stadium with my dad and his friend. And it was really awesome. Got to see all the All-Stars just swinging for the fences and see all the greats. Here's another interesting thing, which is the 1994 All-Star Ballot. I didn't go to this one. This is different than the 96 one. But I have the All-Star Ballot. Look how good a condition I kept it. It's like perfect. It looks like new. And if you remember it, what you would do is you would get the ballot and you would fill it out and send it back in. Probably at the stadium. I don't know if you could mail it. And then vote for the players you wanted from both leagues to go to the All-Star game. I still have that. That's a nice memorable thing, right? All right, and then just two last things, which are these. And these are Phillies glasses that you got from McDonald's in 1990, I think 96. I thought I had the year on here. 93, all right, off by a couple years. But these are really cool, and we use these all the time. Um, I remember I used these all the time as a kid, and somewhere along the line, I broke them or lost them, probably broke them. But recently, at a yard sale, I saw them, and I picked them up for a good price. So anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed my video on my collection of baseball memorabilia, my figures, the Dairy Queen hats, and the collector cups, and the baseball. So anyway, um... I'd like to hear anyone's feedback in the comment section below if you had any of these or if you had any others. Um, it's always good to hear what other people collected back then because it was a really fun time. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, please comment, rate, and share. And uh, make sure you also check out my algebra and word videos if you're taking algebra or you know someone who is. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next collections video. See ya.